Hi everyone. Right, for my uh, tier two and above video this month, I am doing a similar theme to the other two videos which are nearly finished, um, and that is a cat. And I'm doing two ways of engraving. One will be deep, and that will be for tier three and four, the intaglio engraving, using the same image. And uh, this little one, which I've <laughs> very roughly drawn on. Um, can you see that clearly? There we go. Uh, this is going to be surface engraved, okay? So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they differ in look. Um, this is beautiful lead crystal. It's a sort of shape of glass that uh, it's not really popular. I'm not really sure what you'd put in it. Maybe a port or something like that. But it's, it's quite a big tot for a port. Um, it's certainly too small for a wine. So I'm not really sure. It's quite an old-fashioned. Um, it is very old. I've got quite a few of them. Um, and they're not um, something that people buy from me. But they are just so, so lovely to engrave. Anyway, I've got the piece of paper behind there so that you can see um, the black. And I will uh, start engraving with this still there so that I can see what's going on, that you can see what's going on. And then once we've got the basic um, shape going on there, then I'll take away the white um, because you'll be able to see the engraving from then on because it will be white against the dark background, as you know by now. Uh, right, okie dokie. I think that's all I need to say about that. Cats are quite a popular subject. They make me sneeze, but um, they adorable looking creatures. Right, so let's get on with that. Right, so a white Arkansas is what we're starting with. with white paper behind so that we can still see the uh, pen and just drawing in the basic, basic lines. And then after that, we'll be able to remove the white paper. That is actually real time. <laughs> I didn't speed that bit up. <laughs> I will be speeding it up a little, a little later on, but uh, that was real time. Right, in the eyes, because we're doing surface engraving, um, I am not going very deep, but just slightly deep um, for these little eyeballs. Really, I can't emphasize enough, you don't want these eyeballs popping out when the rest of the body is flat. Um, rat's tail, diamond rat's tail. And just marking in a couple of bits. This is a wildish looking cat. Um, And you can see I am going where the black lines are not. I am not going over the black lines. This is very important. The black lines won't remain as clear glass. They will eventually be um, worked on, but they need to be the darker area. Always remember that. Okay, a large diamond, and I'm just going to fill in uh, the area. Now you can see, we can see it quite clearly now that we've taken away the white paper. And I'm, I'm just roughly uh, filling in, going in the direction of the hair, roughly. Um, you don't want to scribble it in, in round circles and that, uh, otherwise it'll look like a sheep. But this is the background. We are preparing the canvas, and that's really important. Um, just filling in uh, 
the whitest, the, well not the whitest areas actually, just the, the bulk of the background. And it's like a painting, you can go over and over and over again and in actual fact you will see I had great fun with the eyes on this cat and I probably redo them, I don't know, three or four times. <laughs> And I thought, no, I'm not going to edit that out. I'm going to leave it mainly in so that you can see uh, that these things can be changed. And especially as I'm not going deep each time, uh, so you're not going to get end up with a distorted, lumpy eyeball. Um, but anyway, these are the basics to start off with. Now I'm going over what was the clear glass, the black area. This is now speeded up, by the way, I'm not engraving this fast. And uh, just filling in so that there are basically no bits of clear glass in this. So that the whole canvas is basically prepared to begin with more of the details. Right, a soft grey rubber, really just about any rubber will, will do, um, I prefer a softer one and just enhancing some of the darkness ever so slightly. Um, and here we have a little pencil rubber which I'm just going to darken the, the eye a little bit. just running over all the areas that I want darker and um, now a rather sharp looking white Arkansas. Uh, it's important that this is very much a half tone or a very soft tone. I know it's looking a little bit white at the moment but it is it will be toned down. Um, as I say this is the beginnings of my rather <laughs> My adventurous eyeballs, I do change it so many times. Um, right, rat's tail diamond again, and just uh, outlining the bottom a little bit, making it look a little bit, not quite teary-eyed, but sort of uh, looking up at you with adoringly loving eyes. Or it's looking at me going, do hurry up, you're poking me in the eye. Um, and my eyes do look a little bit squint at the moment, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Oh dear. Right, a uh, little pencil rubber to um, shade the top of the eyeballs because you've got a little bit of shadow going on there. Um, this part of the video is still slightly speeded up. Uh, only slightly. And uh, Yeah. It's funny because I look at it now and I think, okay, it's almost right, but then I start messing it up. Tiny, tiny little highlights in the eye, uh, in the eyes, and then I overdo them a little bit, which is a bit crazy. <laughs> uh, um, then the, oh, I thought I was coming back with the rubber, but I'm not. I am now just bringing in the edges of the eyes. a little hairy bits you will notice actually that this entire engraving because I wanted to do it um, slightly different is uh, worked dry I have used no water at all I wonder how many of you noticed that and you know many engravers don't ever use water of course you're making much more dust. I do have a dust extractor and I do have my mask so um, I'm uh, certainly the mask is very important because uh, you do make a bit of dust. But it is very soft crystal and I am using lovely fresh diamonds and so they 
you know, they're not going to upset the glass. They, it, this glass is just so soft. It's really, really beautiful. It's crystal. Um, and I know that you guys don't all, that you can't get your hands on crystal all the time. Um, or you might be a little bit nervous of using crystal. Um, but it, it is, it is better than, than plain glass. But a lot of the modern glass is actually lovely. Now you can see I'm going over the eyes again with my white Arkansas because I am not a happy bunny. And, I <laughs> and I'm looking at this cat and I'm already thinking, you no longer look like a cat. I don't know what you look like, but you're a little confused. Um, so <laughs> now you can see the white Arkansas worked quite well. It is a wonderful, wonderful tool. Um, as I say, it's is very much surface engraving so I'm not going deeper and deeper and deeper as such um, I'm just redoing I'm trying not to make this cat look so much like um, oh what was it that cross-eyed lion was it Clarence the cross-eyed lion it was a film from many 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 years ago I can't remember I'll have to look that up hold on let me look it up oh my word I have just looked it up I don't even know how I remembered that. I would have been three at the time. We didn't even have television by then. Um, back then, that was 1965, Clarence the Cross-Eyed Lion. Um, I know that we, when I was a child in, in Zimbabwe, we did eventually have a little TV, but wow, not for a long time. Um, many years later, I would have seen that. It was a, a light-hearted comedy with, um, this lion that was cross-eyed and um, of course I've engraved many 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 lions in my life and I think <laughs> that's why this cat is looking a li little bit wilder than it should be it's sort of I'm so used to doing the wild African cats anyway it's looking slightly better but I have a feeling I go back and revisit those eyes again at some point. Right. Of course, this is speeded up again still. Um, right. Here I want to show you flicking up and flicking down. Flicking up into the dark, flicking down into the dark. Because that has given you the impression that... Um, the white hair is flicking down over the dark area and when you flick it up it looks like dark hair is flicking down over the white hair. In an instant you have made the sort of layers and that's really important. If you were to use a really uh, very very sharp white Arkansas you can sort of get the effect but quite frankly this is a far easier way of, of doing it um, flicking up into the dark so that the dark hairs look like they are flicking down practice that um, on a piece of glass a piece of scrap glass right I've got a soft rubber and I'm just flicking in a few uh, bits of shading um, here and there again the speed is real-time speed. I haven't speeded this bit up. This little kitty now looks like he's looking at me. <laughs> I can see that now, but I couldn't really, I couldn't really when I was engraving, engraving him. Um, or her, not really sure. It's definitely not your average domestic kitty cat. There's something a little bit wild about him. So, as per normal, we are painting. Painting with diamonds, painting with rubbers, painting with a drill. White Arkansas, just to add um, a little bit of effect on the nose there. Because uh, the nose is slightly pink, it's not, it's not light, light. 
because I've just used this. Even that is showing up a little bit much. That calms down eventually. Back to the rat's tail diamond and fiddling about a bit more by those eyes. Adding in hair. Because we've done a bit of shading, so little bits of hair over the top of the shading again. Oh my goodness, I'm adding some more highlights again. <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah, so the odd hair, you don't have to draw every single hair, just the odd hair over the shaded area gives it a very hairy look. And it's very important to flick over the outside edges of the uh, image, of course, because that also gives it um, the full body hairy effect. Even down at the bottom where um, you know, you've, you've ended the picture, don't end it flat, just flick some hairs down as well. Um, and sometimes, I didn't really do it this time I don't think, um, sometimes if you flick down with a very sharp white Arkansas to, to add in some very soft toned hairs in the background as well. Whoops, here we go, we've got some whiskers going on here. You can see I've taken to holding the drill quite securely. My wrists are leaning on the wooden block at the bottom of my glass holder and this is really steadying Clearly not enough because that whisker went a bit wobbly. <laughs> Steadying my hand and I think this one does as well. No, it wasn't that one. Yeah. Anyway, slightly wobbly whiskers, but the idea is don't take too much time over them. You know, uh, if they feel like they're starting to go wobbly, you're taking too long, just lift your drill up and don't revisit it. Just do another one. Um, they have short ones and long ones, it doesn't matter. Um, right, we're back to the eyes. And back to the nose. Oh, we're back to the eyeballs again. <laughs> it's white Arkansas and the rubber. Just wanting to tone it down just that, but I've made those highlights. Why the hi while the highlights do need to be bright, I didn't quite get that bite at all. White Arkansas. That's a bit better again. And to be honest, I really won't have made much difference at all to the depth of this eyeball. I know it looks like it must all be wonky now, but it's really not. It's still quite smooth. Um, there we go. I think our kitty is finished. He is very wild, very wild and very hairy. Maybe he's a young, larger cat. Who knows? My fingers are in the way, unfortunately. There you go. I do hope you enjoyed that and have a go at a little cat. And um, if you are in tier three and four, I will be doing a similar cat in a more 3D depth with intaglio engraving. Thank you for watching. Have fun. Till next time. Bye.